Welcome back to Digits here at WSJ Live. I'm Simon Constable. What does digital music have in store for us this year, 2013? Well, we got someone to help us answer that, and he's coming to us live from the Consumer Electronics Show. It's Nick Massey. He is the CEO of rara.com. Thank you very much for being with us, sir. My pleasure, Simon. Um, for those that don't know, very quickly tell us what Rara is. Well, Rara is a uh, cloud-based music subscription uh, service. So uh, wherever you are uh, in, our, in the 33 countries that we currently uh, service, uh, you will be able to uh, play music on your favorite device, be that a PC, a Mac, uh, uh, Windows 8, um, uh, or your, your uh, iDevices. Uh, and Android devices and enjoy uh, 18 million tracks um, or use the playlists that Rara has created on your behalf. So what trends do you see developing in this year as distinct from last year? Uh, well, I, as, your, as your previous guest, I think, uh, uh, highlighted, one of, the, one of the key trends uh, is really um, uh, music actually moving uh, uh, off uh, the personal device and actually into uh, places like the car. Um, we, uh, Rara's actually got a, a, a number of uh, very live conversations going on with the major automotive uh, players mm -hmm. right now. Uh, we're also seeing a significant amount of developments actually in, uh, in the living room as new devices um, uh, start to uh, come forward to give consumers new ways of actually streaming music around the house. So um, we're, we're seeing a, 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 a lot of change. We're actually seeing also the consumer uh, model, uh, the access model over the ownership model really take hold now as the, uh, the, the physical uh, product of the CD starts uh, to significantly decline. The digital download comes under threat and consumers actually really genuinely work it out that uh, by uh, effectively renting their music, uh, they can have whatever they like, wherever they like, uh, all the time. And uh, so uh, we, uh, we, uh, we just see that continuing. So we, we, we've seen um, the, the music business shift from, from CDs to digital downloads and now to this. Is that going to be good or bad for the music business? The music business has had a terrible time of it lately. Yes, there's no question that uh, the industry has been been challenged with uh, with obviously a significant um, uh, uh, set of circumstances with piracy. Um, uh, what uh, the music street the main the main music streaming players offer uh, effectively is a legal um, uh, way through uh, that situation where you, for your monthly fee, uh, all the all the all, yeah, Rara has got uh, all the all the major. Uh, labels plus major dependents on board. Uh, we've got arrangements with all the publishers, so we are 100% legal, and so um, basically you can you can get access to to the world's music now uh, within a free uh, uh, away from um, uh, the the piracy, the world of piracy, into a, a, a legal uh, umbrella, and we think that's actually a positive for artists. We think that's a positive for labels, and we think that's a positive for publishers as well as uh, others in the industry. Uh, Nick, um, this space has a lot of players in it, um, increasingly more. I mean, you've, you've got uh, Spotify, Pandora, um, Apple's coming into it, you're in it, um, there are others too. Isn't it getting a bit crowded? I mean, you know, what I know about business is better to have fewer competitors. Um, you, 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 could, you could say it, it's getting crowded, but I think if you actually read, took a look at the amount of people who are actually playing genuinely on a, on a global level, what I, actually you'd find is there are actually very few. Hmm. Um, there, are, there are a lot of services you've got uh, na a national level of uh, licensing cover maybe one country or maybe, maybe a couple. Uh, but when you actually start to really boil it out and say how many people are really truly uh, uh, playing in a global uh, footprint or have aspirations for a global play, there are genuinely very few. There are literally there are a handful. And so, um, you know, do, do we see the industry uh, 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 becoming more competitive? I think um, it's fair to say that we, we do. You know, Microsoft entered uh, earlier this year. Um, Sony are already in, Samsung are in. Uh, there's obviously a lot of conversation about some other tech giants, um, uh, as well as the, the independents like ourselves, plus Spotify and others. You know, we, um, you know, we actually see, uh, to be fair, that the competition is very healthy. Mm. We're all competing uh, with, with effectively retail businesses. So it's all about consumer choice at the point of purchase. All the brands are different. Uh, we position ourselves very different to others. You know, our brand is positioned as a mainstream product, very simple and easy to use. 
Uh, we, uh, we don't give our product away for free. We, uh, we offer consumers a discounted introductory subscription of 99 cents for the first month, and then we give you three months of that. So we are, we are very different to others, and we think that there's a, an opportunity for each of the services to actually carve out their own space. And at the end of the day, let the consumer decide in the marketplace. Oh, that all sounds like excellent stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Nick Massey, uh, CEO of RARA. We appreciate your time today.